Humans and aliens live together on the Earth. This demand are transporting a stowaway, whose clothes are cut open to reveal an alien with a mask of a human head. There are other living things in the universe besides humans. The alien is a escape criminal, and the two are about to take him back when a policeman runs over. The alien pushed away an old agent to escape, and the old agent was about to attack when his hand lost control. In a desperate moment, Agent K attacked the aliens, saving the policeman's life. But the policeman, who had never seen an alien before, was shocked. Another policeman came. K pulled out the memory erase stick, and a flash of red light erased the cop's memory. That's another function of men in black, to erase the intermittent memories of ordinary people. The cleanup team arrived and removed any trace of the alien presence. The old agent felt guilty because he almost failed in his mission. He thought he was getting old. It was time to retire, and Kay needed a new partner. At the same time, Jay is hunting a fugitive. The fugitive is so strong that he can not only jump directly off the bridge, but also climb the wall to the roof with his bare hands. But he is still blocked by Jay. They thought they could bring him back this time, but he was an outlaw. He just said, that the world was going to end, jumped off the building, and Jay was stunned. The leader thinks that the prisoner jumped because of Jay. Jay how to explain that they do not believe. Only when the medical examiner finds something unusual during the autopsy, he will believe him after telling the leader. At this time, Kay also found the police station, and he asked Jay to help identify the criminal's weapons. When Kay arrived at a store, he asked the owner to take out his weapon. The owner tried to play dumb, and Kay shot him, but the owner's head grew back. He's an alien. Now the owner was honest and immediately displayed his collection of alien weapons. Jay instantly recognizes the criminal's weapon and learns that the criminal is also an alien. After Jay helped Kay identify the weapon, he erased his memory. Kay's partner is retired and he thinks Jay can be his partner. Kay gave him a card and told him to come to him tomorrow. The man pulled his scalp, nearly ripped off his face, and scared the woman unconscious. That night, a flying saucer fell from the sky. The man went out to look and saw a huge pit appear in front of his door. Before he could shoot, he was dragged down, turned into a skin, and the aliens took his skin. The next day, an exterminator came to clean up the cockroaches and heard the exterminator say that the cockroaches were pests. The man was so mad, he killed the exterminator and used his car to carry the UFO. He's the alien cockroach man. At this time, Jay also came to the address K gave him and they took the exam together. Are the best in the army. When the game started, they couldn't ride on their legs. When Jay found out, he pulled the table directly in front of him. In the second level, the others picked up their pistols and shot the aliens. Only Jay hit a little girl. The examiner asks him why and Jay explains that none of his aliens are a threat. A little girl with a book on quantum mechanics is not afraid to walk among the aliens, so she poses the greatest threat. In this way, Jay successfully passed the examination. Kay takes Jay to the headquarters of Sector 6, where there are various aliens, to twin aliens, who monitor all alien activities on Earth. Kay erased Jay's fingerprints and information, and Jay officially joined the man in black organization and became an agent. His first assignment was to check on the octopus man. They're about to leave Earth in violation of regulations. After they arrived, they found that the octopus man's wife was about to give birth, and Jay also helped the alien to deliver. Successfully delivered a small alien octopus, Kay realized that something big had to happen for the octopus to leave with his wife who was about to give birth. On the other side of the alien, cockroach came to a restaurant. He pretended to be a waiter, directly killed the prince of the Jajalan Empire, grabbed the table and ran away. When he opened it, it was full of diamonds, but this was not what he was looking for. K and J arrive at a farm, and after testing the soil, K finds traces of aliens here. If they invade Earth, they will face a catastrophe. They came to the morgue to examine the prince's body. When the man touched his ear, the face of the corpse opened automatically, and the little alien inside was the alien prince. The prince told them to find the galaxy, and then died. They went to the prince's jewelry store and found the galaxy the prince had said was on the pet cat's collar. That's when Jay saw the cockroach man. He was here and he found out the secret. Jay tried to put a bullet in him, but the recoil was so strong. It sent him flying. He looked back and the cockroach man had fled. He went to the autopsy room and grabbed the coroner. At this time, Jay, they also arrived. The medical examiner to Jay for help. Jay thought she was seducing himself. So the cat jumped on the prince's body. Hiding below the cockroach man grabbed the cat, grabbed the collar and jumped out of the window with the medical examiner, and it just swallowed the pendant. Back at headquarters, the Empire demands that they hand over the galaxy or they will attack Earth. He reminded them that there were the real flying saucers in the UFO gallery. Jay guessed the cockroach man would be looking for transportation here. They went to the museum at once. Kay's car can change shape and run right up the tunnel. Avoiding traffic, the cockroach man arrives. He leaves the forensics aside, starts the saucer, and is about to go home. Jay and Kay take up arms together 
and shoot the UFO down to the ground. The cockroach man who failed to escape was very angry and directly tore off the skin and revealed his true face. Jay looked at the giant cockroach in front of him and was stunned. Cockroaches swallow their guns in one gulp. K asks Jay to stop the cockroach man from boarding the flying saucer to escape and is directly in by the cockroach man. The cockroach man turned and left and Jay tried everything to stop him. However, the cockroach ignored him and tossed him off easily. Then Jay noticed some small cockroaches nearby. He deliberately stomped on the big roaches right in front of them. This time, the cockroach finally got angry and came back to kill Jay. Then his body exploded. It was Kay who found the weapon in his stomach and took the orb containing the galaxy. They think they're done, but the giant cockroach isn't dead yet. The cockroach man is about to attack. The medical examiner attacks and kills him completely, and the Earth is safe again. Having done all this, K also decided to retire. J raised his memory and invited the M.E. to join the Man in Black. The film ends here, and the story of the Man in Black is still very wonderful. However, the crisis of the Earth is not completely resolved. How can they save the Earth? I'll see you next time.